series and it should be a good one between the New England Patriots and the San they'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman and they get him down but not before he takes it across the, the, run, the Go ahead. right back to Coleman here on first down and that one blown up now on second and 13 Garoppolo the first catch of the game for George Kittle and defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. But he's got it. Garoppolo finding his tight end, Kittle. And he's got some space here. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big play there for the Niners. 46 yards. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Punching it in from a yard away. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And the defense take over first and 10 at their own 18. Shotgun now for Brady. Looks for White, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over-amped. Others say, I've got a two-touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. Gold to add the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to a... Sony Michelle, his first carry. And he'll push forward. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. To throw on second and six. Brady. He's got it to James White. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They'll run it here. This is James White looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Throwing on second down. Brady. And an alley to run. And he's able to... I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he went... No. And they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Alert! Alert! On third and long, it's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Forcing the incompletion. 
So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Sanu. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though he completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it. Yeah, and take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Sponge! 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 No, no, no! <laughs> now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And he's... Brady now going to leave it with Michelle on the draw. Case of see ball, get ball. Here's Brady to throw. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. Brady to his hole. They'll run on first down. Michelle, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. On second down, Michelle. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And a three-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. Here we go with Michelle, and they are going to stop him on fourth and one. As a running play stops short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle. On second down, it's Coleman. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before. They'll run with Coleman on first down. A good offense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. You know, pass complete here to Sanders. Touchdown, 49ers! Emmanuel Sanders, 38 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us. But sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you... Brady gives to Michelle. He's got the first down and more past midfield. A big-time run there by... Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now Michelle. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. A five-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chart. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Goskowski, the extra point. And that will get him one closer. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him. Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And at the 42-yard line here. This guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time. Really honing his game. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, 49ers. Kevin Coleman with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. 
That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This will be taken to the back of the end. Had a rough go of it here in this first half. Maybe time for him to put his foot down here in the second quarter. Put his foot down and become... Now White lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. There he goes, right side. And he will... For that offense, defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. Nifty move. And out of time, Charles, what gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Kawhi Williams. And a great return as they're finally... So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. It won't be a set. It's Coleman here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Coleman now. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Kevin Coleman on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns as his guys continue to pour it on. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to cut him to put his mark on this game. Agreed. And how that has to happen is somehow he's got to flush out everything that's happened so far and almost start over and get back to that confident level and know. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he's able to get it a half interception. We don't have to just look strictly at the numbers here. You know what else happens to a team when you turn it over three times like that? It erodes confidence in you. And it erodes confidence in the offense. And now you have the defensive guys looking over and saying, what is going on here? And instead of playing for the team, they're playing angry and mad at their teammates. The throw on second down by coming down with him. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Brady's throwing the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know, the rhythm seems off. And he's got some. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And this is going to be... Guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them. Big tackle, knock the ball free. Anything you can do to slow them down. And they'll get him down as he's in. Coleman. Three yards on the. From the 35 on second down. Garoppolo. And he's got another. On first down. It's Coleman. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 180! Garoppolo out wide here to Samuel. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Mostert. 
And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Taking it in from a yard out as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Gold with the extra point. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Brady, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. On play action, now Brady. He's going to look deep for Edelman. And this will be caught at the 30. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 33 yards that time. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Off the draw, here's Michelle. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Again, it's Michelle. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. It's a game of three. Brings up third and six. On third down, Michelle. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on four. Now Brady. He's got daylight. The 30. 10. To the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Nick Bosa, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. That throw by Brady incomplete. 
Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. <laughs> but correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally, because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. To throw again, Brady. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there. Third down here. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that done to the 40 before it's all said and done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the foot. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And some room to run now. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Got fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. Yeah, but they told, him, they told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 27. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. D4 credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. I'll give to Michelle running right. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And it's Michelle once again. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run with Michelle. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. 
A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. Maybe that extra you know, that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This is Coleman. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second? And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away as his guys continue to pull it on. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that <laughs> as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals, just something magical about breaking that barrier. He's right there on the doorstep now. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll keep it on the ground. Michelle, this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, and hit them over the top. On third down, Michelle, and he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And all the way down to the 42. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Now defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. They'll keep it on the ground. Michelle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to... This is caught inside the 15. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. They'll run on first down. Michelle. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Michelle. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle, and he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. 
A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.